they can take you, the kid, out of Patterson. But you can't take Patterson out of the kid. That's for sure. Frank Lautenberg came full circle today. He grew up just a few blocks from the New Jersey Community Development Corporation, where today's announcement was held. And his father worked at the silk factories nearby. Surrounded by his wife and children, the senator recalled his father, who died at 43, but left a major impact on young Frank. My father uh, fought for the right to organize his fellow workers, to feed his family and help his children succeed. Lautenberg credited his father for inspiring him to be an advocate for working people, education, and environmental protection. The senator was hailed as a leader who changed the culture in the 1980s when he led the charge to ban smoking on airplanes. There's no question that any time anybody gets on an airplane, they thank Frank Lautenberg. Um, before they even do their little prayer, they thank him for the fact that we don't have smoke on planes. But for all the good Lautenberg has done over his career in the U.S. Senate, it was what's next, or more specifically, who's next, that was the topic of whispered conversations here. Mentioned most prominently was Newark Mayor Cory Booker, who was not here today. Also not here today, but mentioned as potential candidates were Congressman Frank Pallone and Rush Holt, and Senate President Steve Sweeney. The lone woman who's been mentioned and has made no secret of her potential interest in a run is Assembly Speaker Sheila Oliver. Now that there is an opportunity to support a woman going to uh, the uh, U.S. Senate, we, we need to sit down and we need to explore it and we need to talk about it. I think that strategically our party in New Jersey has to open up and become more inclusive in terms of the hierarchy of our party. Power broker and Essex County Executive Joe DiVincenzo hovered around the edges of the crowd. He's a declared Booker man, but has so far shown little interest in exclaiming his support for the top of the Democratic ticket in this year's election. That Democrat, Senator Barbara Bono, was in the House today and said a little competition is not necessarily a bad thing for a party. When people talked about uh, the possibility of a primary for uh, the gubernatorial, and some people were saying it wasn't good for the party, I, you know, I, I don't accept that. I think that as, as many people are in primaries, is, is good for the party. Senator Lautenberg made it clear that this was not a retirement announcement. In fact, he has set a very ambitious agenda for the next two years. But today's announcement does give a green light to the men and women who would be his successor. In Patterson, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.